There's been 11 barefoot balls now within the history of the Bolshechika Conservancy, one of the master stewards of the wetlands, the largest and one of the last remaining ecosystems of its kind, covers 1,200 acres, a true saved gem of the Southland, not to mention Huntington Beach. This year's event, held today at the beautiful Waterfront Beach Resort at Hilton Hotel, was once again attended by an overwhelming sold-out who's who of supporters. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you for being here tonight. Thank you to our sponsors in the Hilton for making this possible. And thank you to the board members, the advisory council, staff, and volunteers for the work that got us here. Thank you so much. These supporters were treated to a Cooper's Hawk demonstration that symbolized the type of wildlife found around the Bolsa Chica. Tonight, it took repeated flights inside the breakwater suite. The popular heads and tails games was replaced by what else? We got beaks. We got beaks. If you chose beaks, please remain standing. If you chose tail feathers, you're out of the game. Please sit down. Beaks. <laughs> There you go, thank you so much. And veteran auctioneer Mike Schumer led the crowd to dig deep when asked, and the responses were impressive. My name is Stephanie Wilson, and I am on the board of directors and have been for almost 20 years. And I work with Fred's Mexican Cafe in downtown Huntington Beach. And this year we're celebrating our 20th year of Bolsa Chica's 4th of July breakfast. And so in honor of that and all the great work the Conservancy does and all the education they bring, we're going to donate $10,000. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. We have another thing going on? We sure do. So those of you know, who know Fred's, Fred has a little sister named Sandy's, Sandy's Beach Shack, and Sandy's would like to match Fred's donation at $10,000 as well. Put your hands together, friends and Sandy's. $20,000, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to clap louder than that. That's how we start things off. Thank you. Tell me, where are you guys from? We're with AES, and we're longtime supporters of the Bolsa Chica Conservancy, so we're proud to continue to support BCC and Creating Moments. That's awesome. Thank you. For our $5,000 donors, I'd like to challenge the first 20 people that raised their hand for $100, I'll match that. We will match that for $2,000. I hope everybody in the room does it, please. Think about it, it's $100. It's the cost of what, a hamburger today? <laughs> $100 over there, Dave's paying up. I think I saw at least 25 there, Dave. Great work, $100 over there, another 100, and 100 over here, volunteers are coming around. The fiery live auction included six items that complemented an already existing online and silent auction. But all was the right time to present Conservator of the Year. This year, Chris Epting for his written work surrounding the Bolsa Chica. Chris dedicated their recognition to Shirley Detloff, recently passed, of course, and an early Conservator of the Year recipient herself. Others included entrepreneur Ed Laird, and Wylan, to name a couple. The history, but also just the emotional love and, and connection I have to the wetlands, much of which was sort of inspired by a walk Shirley and I took about 25 years ago, where she first exposed me. It was really like an epiphany, exposed me to the history and the wildlife and things that really changed my life. So. One of the other highlights of the evening was to hear from Sophia Bean, an employee of the Conservancy, and how her mother influenced a life of learning. And for me, it happened when I was in middle school and my mom was diagnosed with stage four brain cancer. She passed away in 2020, and she was part of all of my life's moments. I honestly was trying not to cry, uh, just because I know how blessed I am to have had that influence, and I'm very thankful to be able to be that influence now um, for all the people that we reach at the Conservancy. A packed evening of entertainment and discovery with friends that were all contributors to the realities of running this pivotal nonprofit organization. Their support tonight helps to us to provide education programs and restoration that help to continue protecting Bolsa Chica. 